Hi everyone, I'm making this video to show you how to iterate through filters in uh, Power BI by uh, individual client, then export visuals to PDF. If you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button to support me to make more videos to help other people just like you. If this video has helped you, any donations to support this channel are welcome by using the PayPal link in the description. Description. So this is um, a simple presentation in the Power BI. I have a chart by a client Pam, Ken, and Bob, right? And uh, and um, I have also created an Excel list, right? That have a list of all my clients. Right, Bob, Ken, Pam. Um, so the first step in Power Automate is open up that listing of our customers. You can make the instance uh, invisible because there's no need for you to edit it. Open it up as read only. All right. Then you read. Uh, from the Excel instance, all available values from worksheet. Um, and then click on M1, select first line of range contains column names. Then you use for each um, value to iterate this Excel data store into current item. Then you get your window, which is the power step, which is uh, a specific window. Uh, window says uh, to do this, right? To do this, go get window. This is just a sample. I will delete this later. So go to add UI element. All right, then you go to Power BI. All right. Make sure you highlight the whole document. You can see the document here. Yeah. All right. Make sure you have a red border line all across our Power BI. Then you press uh, Control left click. Then you press uh, Done. All right. Then you bring window to to front. All right. So let me delete this because there's no need for us to use this because I have one already. The next step is um, you have to click UI element in window. All right. Go to add UI element. Then you need to click on this chart, this group, huh? make sure it's a group, then control left click. All right. Then you go back to then you click on done. All right. Then uh, you save. All right. For this one I don't save it. So so you will get you get this group power bi report All right the next one to click is uh, click on search so drag All right then uh, add ui element what you want is this search this search uh, 
click on control left click now done yeah edit search to cancel it because i have i have already sorry in here then the next thing is you need to send keys because we want to iterate right the names um so so let me go to power bi so uh, i will show you why i need the uh, why i need the, to to delete later so just just add this foreground window and then just type this this i will put this in the description this is to delete uh, any uh, uh, filter that you will put later um, then uh, and cancel no you will press save but for me i will press cancel and then after that this one right this is very important i will put this into the description as well uh, this one will actually go to your current item which is in here which is your current item which is you know the list of client name right so it goes it goes to your current item which is the list and then it, it will select the uh, the column name uh, client and then uh, iterate the uh, clients then um, so basically what it will do is if you go to here right then you will type uh, your customer name then tap right then space then uh, you your, your 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 graph will be filtered by um, the particular uh, customer so let me go back to power automate so so this this uh, the the step number seven is actually going back to the search and then control all which is means select the whole name and delete so the next iteration it will uh, go to the next client so maybe it's can then tap paste then then your your visual will change to for can uh, can m right then tap and space the visual will change to pems um let me go back to power automate right so this one is important as well so you need to click back you need to uh, copy step number five and put it under step number eight so what this will do is um you will click click the uh, the visual again to to export later right so the next step is um The next step is um, click UI element, right? Then click on add, right? The next step is you want to go to file, right? Then control left click, right? Click on done. So let me cancel for you. You save it. So basically you do one by one file export and export pdf so so you need to do uh, three so let me show you how to do the other two so add ui element all right then you go to click on file all right you need to click on uh Click on export, right? Control left to export. 
then after that you control left click export to pdf so you need two steps yeah so you go back to so you see left click get the list list item export and text export to pdf all right so so this one will iterate by client so you first you will go do the bob then do pam then do can right three times if you have like 100 clients you have 100 times here let me go back to this step number eight make sure the delay between keystroke is 1000 because the tab and space need some time uh, to filter properly so let me let me let me run let me reset this first right make sure you select um, reset everything before you before you start running so this is reset this is the natural state of the power bi so you run So you're selecting box first, tap space. All right. Then from that it will go to file, export, export to PDF. Next it will go to pen. Yeah, slowly. One thousand milliseconds between uh these strokes. And export to PDF again. Right. So it's all done. So now you have um three uh, visual by Bob, Pen, and uh, Pam. Right. Um, if you guys can subscribe and um, and like the video, um, if I see there are more subscribers, um, I will make part two to to show you how to save uh, all these individual PDF by the client name. Um. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, I hope this video has helped you. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, and feel free to donate. Um, thank you so much and I will see you in uh, part 2 if uh, you guys subscribe and like this part 1 video. Um, thank you so much guys. Bye bye.